So yesterday on Roblox's YouTube page, they had this presentation called Investor Day, and it's basically Roblox talking about how the fact that they're going public and they're introducing some new features and talking about the future. But one thing that they discussed was voice chat, the introduction of voice chat coming here very soon. Now, some people have different feelings about this. I've actually used the voice chat, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of feedback. We're going to talk about it and talk about what it, what it means and the pros and the cons and the future of Roblox overall. So you can see right here a comment from Ikea on Twitter. Roblox, you are endangering your young, young player base with introducing voice chat. Are you going to be responsible for the likely consequences of exposing children to all sorts of verbal abuse and scarring? I guess you didn't think of that. Only the money. So uh, the, the thing that they're kind of concerned about here is possible bullying going on on the platform. People saying things and things that are uh, very mean. People doing bullying, people doing that kind of stuff, or even predatorial kind of stuff. So uh, let's kind of get into uh, what they're talking about and what's going on. So uh, basically yesterday during the presentation, David Bazuki talked a lot about the future in Roblox talked about how there's it's in a shared experience platform it's fully immersive and it's a virtual experience so uh, they want to support voice in the future they're gonna start talk about supporting facial expressions one thing I think we should think about here is ready player one I'm sure you guys have heard of the book the movie or ready player Two, the book uh, basically in Roblox they've worked together and they've done some collaborations and David Bazuki really thinks of that as a vision for the future of Roblox the metaverse that Roblox itself is a metaverse it is a social human human co-experience and it is meant to the, the the vision is to be able to connect the world so if you think of the overall vision of what they're trying to come up with think of if you have seen ready player one in there they they are full avatars they can move they can talk they can ha they have pretty much everything it's just a whole completely different virtual universe and I think that is the future goal for Roblox now if we're gonna kind of compare things that already exist as far as uh, what exists in video games we already have chat rooms like as soon as the internet showed up people were able to connect around the world they'd have chat rooms I remember you know being able to get into chat rooms no one checked my age or anything that was going on so we were able to do that we also now have discord it is this app people can get on discord they can have discussions they can chat uh, they can already talk and you know you're supposed to be over 13 in order to get on that but then of course a lot of people will end up lying about their ages uh, but yeah we're going to talk about how parents are kind of responsible for this as well and need to make sure that they're being active in this but as far as this thing's going I think a lot of people are just making large assumptions about what this is going to be and how it's going to be implemented they're just basically envisioning people inside of a game and then everybody can hear everybody and everybody's talking over everybody and then everybody's saying a bunch of bad words and everybody's just saying a bunch of weird stuff uh, and that's not what it's gonna be like like I've actually done it and so I was able to test out this whole voice chat feature and it was actually really really nice I was incredibly impressed with how it was implemented and all of my doubts before then were washed away as soon as I got a chance to try this so uh, speaking specifically went in there it's it it was pretty much proximity based if you wanted to listen to somebody you had to kind of get close enough to them and uh, to be able to hear them and if you wanted to say something it's kind of a push to talk sort of thing if you didn't want to hear what this person was saying you could just walk away from them and I'm thinking in the future they're gonna add a lot more as far as options and limitations in there because if we look like right now how it exists right now for text let's compare how everything is in text if you go to your settings you go to your privacy settings right here at the top you can see we've got contact settings so the default settings are they're just the default whoever can message you and chat with you in the app it's the people who are the friends you've also got this one which is custom you can make it so uh, well right now I'm not gonna change my settings because I've got a pin attached which you guys should do that for your privacy settings I'm just saying uh, but basically you can set it here to where only certain people you can make it so everyone can send you messages you can make it so only people who are friends and users and I'm sure this stuff is gonna be implemented in a similar way when it comes to voice chat so you're gonna be able to set it up to where only friends can talk to you or if you want to talk to somebody it's really your option whether or not you want to talk to them and you can probably also end up blocking people if they're saying things that are inappropriate and you just don't want to chat with them in the game so the way that the text is implemented currently there's a lot of
of different options. You can decide who you want to talk to, who you don't want to talk to, and if you even want to talk at all. And also, if your account is under 13, you don't even really have these options to chat with people. Uh, so there's a lot of control. So again, this voice chat thing is probably something that you have to be 13 or over on the platform to even implement. Now, could people lie about their age? Yes, of course they can. We're going to talk a little bit more about how parents need to be a little bit more cognizant about what their kids are doing online with this new technology. Uh, but right now, there's already games that have voice chat. If you play on PlayStation or on Xbox, years and years ago, I was able to go in, play on my Xbox, and plug in a headset, and go and play some Halo, and I was able to chat with people on my team, people on the other team. Now, yeah, sometimes there were some people who were annoying, and they would just say annoying things. It's like young kids just kind of uh, somehow got a microphone. Yep, you just mute that person. It's easy. You just boop, mute that person. It's really super easy to do. And this is something that has been implemented before. And I haven't heard of stories of people uh, having issues with the voice chat inside of games like Halo. So people can say things to, you know, to your face. Uh, we need to be a little bit resilient and also be smart about how we're allowing people to discuss things with us online. So it's very important that you know parents uh, of, of kids who are concerned about kids using voice chat on these platforms, that they educate their kids about this stuff. Uh, so we already talked about how it was probably going to be proximity based. The privacy, just like text. Also, Roblox is a COPA compliant platform. COPA is C-O-P-P-A or COPA, Child Online Privacy Protection Act. So they do care about the online privacy and protection of the younger audiences on the platform. So they make sure that they have these things, like the fact that we can change the custom contact settings and they can make it so that people can, uh, you know, if they're under a certain age they don't have access to certain things on the platform so they have to put their correct birthday when they do that of course uh, of course there are the dangers that people are considering I'm not saying that these don't exist there are possibilities that there's gonna be people who say mean things online and there is possibilities that there's could be uh, people who are uh, posing as somebody else, maybe trying to catfish or trying to be predators. Uh, but that's the thing is this stuff can already exist anywhere on the internet. You go to Facebook, you go to Instagram, you go to Reddit, you go anywhere, you go to Discord. You can play video games on Xbox, on any sort of marketplace. Uh, on the Nintendo Switch, there's ways that people can communicate. Guys, this is something that exists with so many internet platforms. So don't just think of this as a Roblox exclusive sort of thing. If this is something that you're concerned about, you should apply that concern to anything else that exists as far as online social contact. So uh, you, as far as parents go, if you have a child under 13 and they are playing Roblox, make sure that you are paying attention to what they're doing. Because Roblox are not... 13 and under online, it, you know, there's things that they could possibly run into. So it's very important that parents understand uh, YouTube, that they understand Discord, that they understand other social media platforms, including Roblox, and what their kids are doing online. It's very, very important. Now, I understand I'm a parent myself. I understand that it's very, very difficult to make sure that you are on top of every single little thing. But, you know, I make sure I understand the technology. I know what is on my kids' computers. I know what is on their phone. I'm checking the histories. If I find that they've downloaded Discord or something, they would definitely be caught and they would definitely uh, be have a discussion about that. So it's important for parents to discuss with their kids possibilities of strangers, not just in the real world, world, but also online and not just in Roblox. This exists in anything online. Guys, that's the thing about online. It is the ability to access information and share information across the world. So my thoughts on this, I think it is a good thing. It is going to basically enable the growth of Roblox and the ultimate vision that uh, David Bazuki and the whole Roblox team has for the platform in the future. It is going to grow. It is going to be uh, a place where people have a lot of shared experiences, whether it's concerts or just getting together and chatting. And maybe at some point people can get together and watch a movie inside the platform. It's just going to be a way to bring people together from around the world. So just try to realize that that is the vision for Roblox, and if it wasn't Roblox, it's going to be something else in the future. We're moving 
towards the future. Technology is growing and we need to become smarter as people who are using that stuff and people who have children that are on those kind of platforms. So again, if you're concerned about this, if this is kind of freaking you out, if you guys are thinking that there's going to be some really negative consequences, you know, there's probably going to be some stories of some negative things, but you know what? There's going to be a lot of stories of some really positive things. People uh, d discovering new friends, people who have shared common interests around the world that they wouldn't have normally been able to meet in any other sort of circumstance. So uh, this is going to be something for the future, but if you ever read the Ready Player One, Ready Player Two books, you see that there's also the other side of the coin, uh, how maybe people aren't getting exercised, people aren't uh, doing real world things. So there is a balance that we have to consider as uh, just a human species and what we're integrating into our lives in general. But as far as what people are free out about right now I'm pretty sure that it's because they are making certain assumptions about how this is going to be implemented and it is not going to be implemented in that sort of way it's not going to just have a bunch of people chatting inside of a game in this big open world uh, talking over each other and that sort of thing it is going to be organized it is going to be planned and there's going to be privacy protection as a part of it so if you guys have any questions or thoughts on this that you'd like for me to address or uh, you know maybe I could address some more of these in another video uh, or I can just respond to your comments but let me know in the comments what your thoughts are with this whole thing and uh, I'd like to if you're new here have you subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys later